Okay, everybody, here is just a little quick video on how to uh, uh, make this little book that goes on the front of the flip-flop book, or the flip-flop, um, Life is Better in Flip-Flop page. So what we have here is the actual sample, and it says relax down here, flip-flops on the front. Okay, then it opens up like this. And again, so you have three big spots for pictures, but underneath this last page, it looks like this, and it's attached to this page too also, okay? So you have um, a six by seven piece that will go in behind, and this piece right here that has the anchors and the fish will actually attach to the background page if you want it to. Another option is this whole piece can be attached to the front of your page protector. So if you're going to attach it to your background page, it doesn't flip up, it just glues on right here. You're going to make a slit in your page protector right about here, right along the score line, right at the top of this anchor paper. And then you will add some adhesive to the back of it, slide it down into that slit, and it will adhere to the actual background paper. If you're going to add it to the page protector, you don't need a slit, you just add adhesive, which is like um, three in one, um, not three not three in one glue, but um, score tape or red line tape, and then that will hold it to the front of your page. So let me show you how this works. I know some of you are struggling a little bit with this. So again, it opens up this way, and then underneath this page here is your piece that will attach to your background paper or your um, page protector. This is one page, this is two, and this is three. This one in the center is actually the very first one that you put on, you um, attach, okay? So I'm going to show you how that works. Set this aside. And what you're going to do to begin with is you have three pieces that are six by eight and a half. They're dark blue on one side and they have a blue wavy pattern on the other side. What you're going to do first, for those of you who have never scored with your trimmer, you're going to slide it in. Let's do it this way. Slide it in till you're at one inch. You'll take a bone folder or something like a credit card works also. And then you are going to just drag it across right through that groove making um, a score line so that you can fold these. So you're going to do that with all three pieces. One in at one inch on all three, score in at one inch and score. Now don't score too hard because you'll tear the paper. That's not the point. You just want um, a light score line so that, a medium score line so that you can fold that well. Okay, and put this away. And then the next thing you need is this piece. Now this is the one that goes on, glues to your background paper or it glues to your page protector. Fold all three of your pieces along the score line so that your waves meet waves, okay? And by that I mean like this. Waves meet waves. And you are going to add, take one of your pieces that are scored at the one inch, it goes here, and your six by seven anchor paper will glue right over that one inch flap, okay? That's your very first, very first thing that you're going to add to your, um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. So add some adhesive to that one inch flap. And this will go right up next to the score line. And there you have your first step. Okay, see there that's glued on right over that one inch flap. Second step, you're going to take another blue paper, blue on one side, um, waves on the other side and score line at one inch. Add adhesive 
to the blue side. Okay. And then this is going to the two score lines and the top of your anchor paper will meet up here, okay? So score lines, top of your anchor paper, and making sure everything's straight, then you just add the second piece and this is overlaps the bottom of that first piece that you put on, okay? That makes sense? So there's your anchor paper in the back, there's your second paper, this one up here is your first one. So see how they've overlapped here? Okay. And then you're going to take your third piece of paper and add adhesive to the blue side. And it glues on, matching up the score line and the top of this very first paper you added, the score line on your third paper. Match up your score line to the top of your paper, making sure things are straight so when you fold it down, okay? So there you have your book. There you have your book. So you have your piece in the back. This, you'll add adhesive to the back side and either make a slit in your page protector here, slide this down and glue it on, and then you have these three pages that are free to add three, five by six, I believe these are five by six. Let me check here. Five by six dark blue pieces. And there's a photo mat. There's a photo mat. And up here is a photo mat, okay? So you'll go ahead and glue those on. Now, once you get this book completely put together like this, keep in mind, this will glue to your page this will flop down over, this, will, this piece will be on the outside of your page protector. If you decide to hook it to your background page, this will be on the inside. If not, this is on the outside of your page protector. Adhesive will go back here, glue it either onto your background page or your page protector. This flops down over the front. And then this will fold up. Okay, this folds up. This folds down and this folds down. So now you can see why, I'm going to open it back up, why this piece in the center is actually the front of your book. And I'm going to do that one more time. So you fold the bottom up, you fold the top down, and then you fold all three pieces that are folded together down. And that makes that center piece the very front of your book. Okay, then you have a couple of pieces that go on that and that's pretty self-explanatory on, um, so you have um, a turquoise piece that goes on to the front, which we showed you again, this is the center. So see here, there's the top one, middle one, bottom. And this center one actually is, if you do this, you can see that that is the front page of your book. So this would fold up, down, and down, okay? And that gives you a space for your flip-flops. Now your flip-flops, just a quick, um, quick note on those. You have two pieces, one's yellow, one a little bit bigger white, and the white just gives you room to add some color and a little bit more stability with the chipboard. So there you go, like that. And I'm going to choose maybe, um, you want either Bermuda or um, oh, Bora Bora, Baja Blue, any of those colors. And I glue them on first when you have something like this and you want to change, if you want the outside white, just leave it. If you want to add some color, then just do this all at the same time and it chalks up the edges of both your paper and your chipboard all at the same time. And you need this little crevice in the middle just slightly bend it. Don't crease it, but just blend it a little bit and see how it gets that right in the middle. And then the last thing is you have, you're going to cut your blue ribbon in half, fold it in half, tuck the fold through the flip-flop, and then it's nice to cut two nice sharp diagonals on these ends, and they will 
go through this hole and you add some glue dot or some adhesive on the back. And there you have your flip flops. Those glue onto the front of your book after you put your two pieces here like this that cover. Okay, so this is the front, your turquoise paper, your anchor paper, and your flip flops go on the front. That's it. Thanks for listening.